Do I sound nice, Alex? Beautiful. Okay, cool. Tonight on Double Hammer. Don't change your screens, you're right where you need to be. You're watching Below the Belt's Double Hammer. Tonight, we have a band that needs no introduction. <laughs> Next song is called Always Happy. I'm charming and I'm confident. When I wear my suit jacket, do you want to be me? When I say what I want, I say what I like I am always happy Let's go. 
Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Interview, Double Hammer, Grandma's House, gig, fun, joy, exciting. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>. Woo! <laughs> So, Grandma's House, who are you uh, in, as individuals and what was your introduction into music? I'm Yasmin, I play the guitar. I'm Poppy, I play the drums. <laughs> and I'm Zoe and I play the bass. Me and Pop started the band um, back in uni and we, we didn't know that much about music. No. And we didn't really go to gigs or anything, it wasn't like on my radar. And we just started playing and then we moved to Bristol. And I think that's when we like met so many bands so many like, little bands from Bristol and just went to loads of gigs and we were like oh yeah yeah we should play and then we I taught myself to play the drums yeah so mm. you played guitar when you were younger I'm very young but it was like acoustic yeah. guitar so I didn't really know anything about playing like electric or not much and just taught myself mm -hmm. yeah and then we brought Zoe in like me and the bassist we actually had another bassist and then they she couldn't do a gig like a really important it was like it was dot to dot and Bristol. Dot it was like our biggest rice. gig yeah, so far. Yeah. Um, and we she couldn't like, do it. And we were like, Zoe, learn the baseball. Yeah, That's we all lived together. We were like, Zoe, can you learn <laughs> yeah. it? And she literally learned it in two months or the whole One set. month. Oh my one God. Month. It was insane. Weeks, I don't know. It was yeah. a short amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> and then we did the gig. And then that was history then. That was, yeah. That was and then our other bases dropped out anyways. And then yeah. it was perfect. For cool. Fake destiny. Yeah. It, yeah. it was supposed to it happen. Really exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you said that um, you basically learnt your instruments because you wanted to start a band. Normally it's like the other way around. People have got these things and they go, oh, I want to yeah. take it somewhere. Mm. What was sort of the catalyst? Was there like a specific gig or an artist that went, you know, like, oh my God, like, this is amazing? I think there was quite a few yeah. at the time. Like Shane. Shame, yeah. Shame was just starting out properly. Goat Girl as well. Yeah, I think those two bands. Um, um, Soft Play, Sleeves. Yeah. 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 They, they were, were like really coming up at that point. Because there were two pieces mm. on, it was just me and Pops at that point, so I think Sleeves or oh, yeah, Soft Play. Yeah. yeah, we went mm. to see them in Kingston. When yes. We were nice. Um, Banquet Records gig. Yeah. And we were like... And, and how, what was the um, turnaround from... Uh, let's start a band and then I'll play instruments to your first show at the Thunderbolt in July of 2018. Well done! Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's that's knowledge. Wow. Yeah. Um, it took us quite a long time. Yeah, like, we started it uni, it was very chill. Just in a bedroom, like, yeah. trying to figure out. Because we were so basic at the beginning of learning our instruments. It was like not even on our radar, even playing in mm. it. Oh yeah, no, we were um, way too scared to do that. Yeah. Really. And then that Thunderbolt gig, like, thank God, it was, um, we kind of got forced into it in a good way mm -hmm. like it was it was Pops' brother was actually headlining that gig yeah mm. um and the owner is really sweet dave of the thunderbolt and he was just dave, like we love you dave um <laughs> yeah he was just like i've put you on support for them and we were like what yeah he did he was like yeah you're on support now we're yeah like, okay. no we we're like we've got a 15 minute set we've got like yeah we, had, we four did. songs yeah. five songs and he was like that's fine just do it yeah. Um, wow. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we really needed that push because we would, I don't know if we would oh, have I don't think, done it. Yeah. We were so, mm. so scared of actually yeah. doing a gig. That's so it. we needed the push, yeah. So what's changed for you guys then in terms of the uh, the level of confidence which you're approaching the stage from and just sort of um, yourselves in the, in the band, what's mm. changed from Thunderbolt, 15 minutes set to Comedia, headlining, yeah. hour? A lot has changed yeah. since then. Mm. I, I think we've all definitely suffered from really bad imposter syndrome for a long time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And we really, really struggled with it. So now that's faded away a lot. Yeah. Pretty I much think we're still learning. We're Every still, gig we're still yeah. trying to be more mm -hmm. like, hey, this is... But we actually enjoy it now. Like, oh, yeah. The, the, the nerves outweighed the actual enjoyment yes. of the gig mm. for a yeah. long time. Yeah. Like we would, lit I'd literally would throw up before we played for quite a while. Like we were so nervous. Yeah. yeah. And then that suddenly stopped one day, and since then it's just like we actually really love going out and playing. Yeah. I think it was the last yeah. headline tour. Yeah. Like everyone that came was just incredible, and like people were actually singing to our songs. Um, I yeah, think that's the first the tour we were like, then. wow. Yeah. 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 I, I'm yeah, actually I enjoying and like looking forward to playing in front of people now. Yeah. 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 Seeing people enjoying your music gives you such confidence boost. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. yeah. yeah. You guys have been hitting like, you know, just it seems like every month almost like your audience just expands exponentially. Like mm -hmm. um since your um debut Devil's Advocate back in twenty twenty, um, your growth's just been exponential, more than like any other band I've seen in terms of just your the supports that you're getting. 
Um, oh, thank you. What what would you what would you attribute that to? That exponential growth. What do you reckon it is about you guys? I feel like I feel like our writing process is very unusual. Just because when we started writing, we were learning instruments at the same time. Mm. So I feel like maybe our music is just a bit, just a bit more. I just don't, just a bit different. Maybe. Like, yeah. and we mix. We just mix so many genres together. Mm. Like none of us studied music. It was nothing like there was no kind of rules. Mm. Yeah. We were just writing yeah, as yeah. we wanted, whatever we were listening to at the at the time. Yeah. We just like bring aspects into it. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like we've just... never written a song before when we started. Yeah, so, yeah. it was all very, very raw. Fresh, like yeah. learning the instruments at the same time as learning how to write music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You mentioned uh, briefly about your process. Then, what is your writing process when you're working together? Like me and Yas write a lot of lyrics separately. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then bring them, and then the songs sort of just come from them normally. Yeah, yeah it's I nice to sort of like workshop it. Yeah. Are you sort of like uh, usually a sort of lyrics-led um, band when it comes to the process of writing? I think we are more now. Yeah, mm. I was gonna say now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like we've been really writing a lot of lyrics now. Like we did before, but I feel like we just sort of jam random stuff, and then the lyrics would like flow out. Yeah, like mm. pasty we wrote randomly in like five minutes. Mm. Just like our earlier songs, but now we're a bit more. Does take like, a bit longer with the process. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. You let it sort of digest a little yeah, bit, yeah. And see yeah. where that leads. To. And we love writing, so I feel like we're really putting a lot of effort into our lyrics now, Mm. a little bit more than we used to. You've been um, very prolific with touring for a band that's been existing just before the pandemic. Um, So how how is it touring in mainland Europe and places like France? You did the Netherlands um, Mm. recently as well. Yeah, yeah. So good. It's so good. We love playing abroad. Yeah, the crowds are always amazing. Like, they're so Yeah, there's something about... Crowds brought that just so enthusiastic. I think because they know that you're also from the UK, yeah. they're just so extra like. They're really glad that you're there. Yeah. And just like. So they like say thank you so much for playing. Thank yeah. you for coming over. Having it's the like, best yeah. time. Love yeah. 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 No matter what the language barrier is, people just love. Yeah. yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah. We played in the Netherlands. Yeah, the other weekend, mm. and there was a mosh. We had a mosh pit. And everyone had this huge smile. Like, they were literally all yeah. grinning. Like, we've never seen that people smiling. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Yeah, mm. they looked... Like, and they really treat really you so good over there. there. Yeah. I know, yeah. so yeah. good. Going abroad, out of Europe, to uh, Texas, South by Southwest. Mm. Um, yeah. I feel like there's a lot, when it comes to punk especially, there's a lot of parallels with the British scene, but there's also lots of vast contrasts. How, I mean, how did you find playing South by Southwest? It was amazing. Yeah, it was so cool. It's, yeah, it's crazy because it's so industry heavy as well. Yeah. Mm. So it yeah. was just like frantic. Like there's so many gigs there's going so on. So many British bands yeah. there. So many, yeah, yeah, it was quite isolated. Like we were very surrounded by British bands. Yeah, yeah most, for most of them. Yeah, it. like most people we know were just, we were all there. For yeah. Like, what is going yeah. on? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, so yeah you play like the same venues that like other British bands playing. Mm. Mm. So it's, it's weird. It feels like, yeah, just like Brits aboard. But, um, yeah, obviously, yeah. but we met quite a few. Um, yeah, we got to see quite yeah, a few Texas. Met, we a met few some British really bands. Cool bands. Yeah. Yeah. Here are some of the highlights that were sort of on the same sort of stage and the career as you. I was going to say, I thought you were going to say highlights in general. I was going to say the tacos that we had. Oh, the tacos, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were amusing. <laughs> no, you did, but yeah. we had the amazing tacos. tacos came was that the back. best bite of the South by Southwest? Yes. Oh, oh I think about them all me too. the time. The sauce there, they were amazing. Yeah. Life changing so tacos. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. But Crazy music show. wise. Um, you yeah. discovered a band called For Real. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're American. Mm. Yeah. They were sick. Like, oh, so, like so a duo. Good. I think, like a brother duo. Mm. Um, they were really Yeah. Cool and guys. we saw Los Bitros play. Like, so we, kept, times, we saw them yeah. play like seven times. And Literally. Every time we, we never like, got yes. bored. They kept showing up, like, hello, what's this again? So good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so good. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you recently played a festival in France. I forgot to write down the French name for it, but it's called Women's Get Involved Fest. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, mm, so, yes. Um, what was sort of the, uh, what was that festival sort of about, and what was the sort of the values that it had, and why do you want to play it? It was amazing, yeah, it was, um, it was like three, three or four dates. Yeah. And yeah. there was three dates three, all around France. Three, yeah. yeah, it was amazing. I think they had it literally all over the country. Um, yeah, and we got to play with yeah, it was really uh, cool. Gina Birch. Yes. Yeah, it was just insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just amazing vibes. Mm, mm. And literally just women um, playing. So yeah, when we got off of that, we were like, yeah. And France is so lovely. Yeah. Yeah, so, mm. yeah no, that was a no It was a really cool thing. Nice. To be very involved. important. Yeah. And it was very busy. Yeah, it was a really fun time. Nice. How have you found the experience of being um, women in the punk scene in, you know, I mean, the UK and abroad? Yeah. How, how have you found it? 
Mm. I think the punk yeah. scene is very welcoming. Mm. I think bad experiences we've had has been like just individual people. Yeah. So mm. even bad, yeah. it's more like yeah. kind of not as a woman. I think the main thing we've experienced is if it's been bad, it's just like things sound check honestly. Yeah. And being yeah. kind of like people. Yeah. You just kind of feel like you don't know enough about. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Or like simple things as like not being like greeted. When you come mm. in, True. like it's yeah, been quite a few times that. where you, we, we just that. stood there and we're kind of like, is someone going to be like, yeah, I'm the promoter. Whereas the like male bands are like, oh, hey. Yeah. It's like, I, mean, I don't know yeah. if, like, it's do they know that it's with yeah. the band? There's lots of little things that happen yeah. that you yeah. notice straight away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they all, they they're just, add they add up. Yeah. yeah. And it is annoying. Because when things go really well, you can be like, oh, it's actually all right. You don't really yeah. think about it. And then something little like that happens. They're like, oh. Yeah. 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 I'm a woman oh, in the music <laughs> industry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's more like little little things like that. Like sleep. Or like saying sleep. like after you've played, like sound person saying, Oh that was quite good actually. And it's like oh Yeah. So what were you yeah. saying? Like a backhand, yeah, exactly. so yeah. Kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a lot of people are surprised, I think, when yeah. they see us after they've seen us play live. Yeah. They're like yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, you see them like, 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 like before. Yeah, you sound do. Check, yeah. And after they're a bit like cold. They're suddenly yeah. like, oh my god, yeah, wow, let me shake your hand. I think the punk scene we how we've experienced the punk scene is that it's been very welcoming. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So it's yeah. more like I think we've been quite lucky. Yeah. Wow. So you've got quite a, a very distinctive uh, vocal style as Young Blood commented on. Um, how do you sort of um, I imagine when you learn guitar you're also sort of figuring out your um, your voice and how you're going to express that. How do you sort of find what fit nicely for you um, in terms of that? That coarseness, that sort of, yeah. it adds a bite to it even when you're not trying to scream a bite, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, um, I discovered the yeah, voice like a, few, yeah, a few years ago. I used to sing way softer, mm. just because that's what, like, I feel like there's not many women that have a voice like mine, like just that mm. kind of like low raspiness. So just what I would hear would obviously just be softer. So yeah. that's why I did for a long time. And then I was like, oh. It just came out one day. Yeah. Wow. And now I, it's my favourite way to sing, it's just like yeah, having a bit of brass, <laughs> and it comes out best when I shout, so mm. it's just my favourite way to do it. Mm. How do you warm up into that? Because it sounds like it's, do you just sort of sit in the car park and just scream for half an yeah. hour? Yeah, just do some shouting. Yeah, we do lots of shouting for yeah. me. Yeah, have to. Yeah, when we don't have our own green room, it's like, sorry everyone. Yeah. <laughs> just gotta shout for a bit. <laughs> That's a but, pretty sure um, ritual. Yeah. Is that like the uh, the Berserkers sort of thing? Of yeah. The rage of just, I'm gonna win your punch and get into this now. Yeah. <laughs> sort of no, thing. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Finally, um, what are your words for anyone who, um, like yourselves, wants to start a band, just is looking at all this cool, creative, artistic stuff going on around them mm. and wants to do something of their own with it in Southwest and beyond. The readers of Double Hammer, the God, <laughs> a, a, any, God. anyone who's watching. Um, just oh, try and do it. Yeah, if you want to do it, for it, try and do it. Like do it. when we learned, I was I didn't get a drum kit because I was like, what if I have no rhythm mm. at all? That's mm -hmm. very possible. Yeah. So I was I got like some cardboard boxes and the pencils and had a little go, and then I got a drum kit really cheap from somewhere and yeah so it is possible to um well, just know. start yeah you just never try, know it. Just try and do it just like start. it's our favorite and i feel like there's no yeah. rules like yeah. mm -hmm. you don't need like certain knowledge yeah like, you learn you, know, yeah. you learn as you go uh thank you grandma's house thank you, thank you. Thank you so much cool.